Yeah, I was wearing this exact outfit in the last video. I think I look good. I spend a lot of time on the internet and I generally try to avoid the parts that like I know are gonna make me mad and I only like follow people that I can stand but you know like sometimes when like you stumble upon something it's like how you get to the weird part of YouTube you can get to like the teen part of Tumblr and it's fucking terrifying. Uh, I also work with girls that are younger than me not the girls that I've worked with forever I love them and they know I love them because I tell them because I'm creepy but I deal with a lot of younger teenagers and stuff like that and I have a problem with that generation and before you say anything about how I'm super young I am super young I'm only 20 I know that I got that we're good but I feel like the 20 year olds and the 15 year olds are like a whole different generation nowadays I was I hate the term 90s kid, but I was still kind of a 90s kid, like I didn't, we had a computer room in my house. I didn't get a laptop till I graduated, I didn't have a cell phone till high school. So we are not technologically savvy in the French household. The more I see it, like it's terrifying when you see it online, but the more you see it in real life, the scarier the whole thought of the Tumblr generation is. Uh, Tumblr. Mine is always linked down there or at the end of the video in case you didn't know. But it is a website where you follow people and then you reblog things and you can like post your own content if you want and there's like text posts and videos and stuff like that. And it's pretty much just like there's a bajillion different sides of Tumblr and you just like follow the blogs that you like. There is a lot of kids on Tumblr because nowadays for some reason parents think it's like okay to buy their like 12 to 15 year olds laptops. It seems like there's this whole notion of like what is cool for like younger kids like middle school early high school age if you don't have middle school where you are and it drives me nuts so this video is just going to be a little I said PSA in like four out of five of my last videos but seriously this is a fucking public service announcement to all you young ones out there I've been spitting a lot of real talk these last few videos hope you're okay with that one depression anxiety that stuff not cool not trendy fucking sucks don't do that uh i don't know if it's like a matter of depressed people find the internet or people are depressed because they're on the internet but a lot of these like teen blogs are like super super sad and it's like become cool and like there's literally full blogs of people just being like I hate myself and I hate my life and I want to kill myself and I hate everything and they have like hundreds of thousands of followers from posting like sad photos hey people out there depression anxiety mental illness self-harm it's not cool it's not trendy stop romanticizing it it's like a big deal in middle school and like because you have nothing else to worry about it really sucks if you have any of those things in college because you're like paying real human dollars to get an education which you can't actually do properly because you can't focus on anything because you're anxious all the time do you see what I'm saying the next thing that I do not understand and I think is ruining <laughs> people is the fact that for some reason it's like super cool on tumblr to not care about anything not try hard at anything and bash high school constantly there's a lot of posts about how like teachers don't realize that you have other classes or like teachers don't think or care about their students when they give out homework or how like everyone should rebel against their teachers and like not give a fuck about high school because as long as you graduate that's all that matters right and how like college isn't really like that but everyone who's saying that college isn't really like that is high schoolers talking about things they haven't experienced every time that a high schooler comments about how difficult high school is and how it's super unfair that they're required to go to school every single day of the week and it's super unfair that they have to spend an hour every night on homework I want to throw myself on the floor because during like midterm finals periods I have 4,000 word papers to write and I have like five of them to write and then I have a midterm the next day and then I have a weekly quiz to do and then I have 130 pages in a textbook to read 
So all these high schoolers that are saying like high school's so much work and it's like only there to like mentally stress young people and it like doesn't actually care about their education and it's like only there to like ruin their minds because everyone's so anxious because everyone has these crazy mental illnesses. <sighs> Straight up guys, I'm struggling so hard with my camera today. Every time the battery is finally charged, my memory card fills up and I have to put it on my computer and then when I come back, my battery dies again. So I'm trying. The final point I want to make that drives me nuts about the Tumblr generation, as I'm referring to it, is that everyone thinks they know everything about everything. I'm kind of guilty of this because I'm 100 bajillion percent a know-it-all, but I generally don't argue about things unless I actually know at least like a teeny tiny bit about it, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know all the things about all the things, but I at least know like a little bit of things about the little bit of things that I try to talk about. This is like super apparent every time, I might have a whole separate video about this, every time you say anything about veganism and how it's like maybe not ideal, I can guarantee you that a 14 to 16 year old girl on Tumblr will tell you that you're wrong, but won't back it up with any facts. This also goes for like anything that's like a social justice warrior ideal when it comes to people who are young. Like, I could say almost anything about feminism or racism or minimum wage or like politics and someone under the age of 15 is gonna tell me I'm wrong. Like, I could literally go to school and be studying that topic and get a degree in it and a high schooler or a middle schooler would tell me I'm wrong. Just because. And this is not just the internet, this has literally happened to me in real life. I literally have had someone under the age of 17 tell me that I'm racist and that I do not understand the history of black people. For no reason. There was literally no reason she just started talking at me. I like want to tear all my hair out just thinking about it. We'll leave it at that. As always, all of the links to everything that I do will be down below there. For some reason, the more videos I make nowadays, the more people unsubscribe to me. I guess no one finds me entertaining anymore because I'm not hilarious. Promise I'll try to be funnier again soon. But if there's anything you want me to talk about that you would actually enjoy, please leave me a comment because I will happily do whatever you want because I am a lemming. A lemming? Are those the animals that run off the cliffs? I think it is. Yes, I will see you guys very, very soon. Be sure to follow me on all the things down below, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. As you probably know if you've been here for a while, I have an opinion on maybe almost everything. This is the concept that I shouldn't like to do things if boys don't like those things that I've done.